Hello friends, I hope you've had a great Christmas and are enjoying the holiday season. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your generosity this past year. I'm humbled by your support for our church family. December 31st is the last day to offer your tax deductible gift in 2021. We know that many of us like to give a bit extra at this time of the year, and we would be so grateful if you chose the Meeting House as your charity of choice. Your giving fuels our future and helps us to plan and prepare for the ministry work we'll do in the new year. To give, please go to themeetinghouse.com slash give. Thank you so much to all of you for your continued generosity and support. Have a happy new year. Well, hello, friends. Uh, I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas day. And uh, this Sunday falls on a Boxing Day, which traditionally in Western cultures has meant that you furiously take your gifts and go exchange them or get better deals or you take and you take and you take and you take some more. But we decided as a community that a better idea might be to take this Sunday and spend it with each other, with God, to Sabbath as it would be, just to rest uh, in who God is and what God's intentions are for this world. And one of the ways that we can do this, you know, there's all kinds of different ways to learn and different ways to encounter God. Traditionally on Sundays, we do that through specific, uh, a, a specific way of worship, like a sermon or a message or worship or all of sort of these things. But this Sunday, we wanted to take a different approach and we wanted to invite our artist through the Christmas challenge, um, Betty Dickinson, to lead us in what's called a Lectio Visio. And a Lectio Visio is just a spiritual seeing. That's what that means. It's just Latin for spiritual seeing. And what it is is an invitation to look into the scriptures through art and then also through some reflection. So rather than just being told uh, what to think or some things that I think might be a good idea. It's actually Betty leading you through your own process of what you're hearing God say to you and what maybe this artwork and then the passage of scripture that goes with this artwork might be saying to you. It's a beautiful, beautiful devotional exercise. And uh, it's a great way to give our minds a rest and open our hearts instead and to practice listening to God and having a conversation with the Spirit of God. Instead of just learning about God, we really want to encounter God. Uh, the divine reading, the divine seeing exercise will be taken from the Magnificat, which is a famous passage of scripture. As a matter of fact, this is Mary's song. It's the most a woman speaks in the Gospels. And uh, it's Mary's natural what comes out of her after she understands what God is actually going to do in and through her. And uh, this uh, Magnificat, this Song of Mary, has been banned over the centuries in f at least four different countries because it's so full of what God wants to do. And there is this upside-down kingdom that God is going to usher in, and Mary announces it. And uh, when you really take the time, like we're going to do today, to reflect on what it is that she says, there's some powerful, powerful truth and a really amazing invitation that God's going to give us together. So I'm gonna pray for us and I'm gonna hand this over to Betty to lead us. And this is what I'd like you to do in preparation. Find just a nice place to sit. Open up your heart, you know, open up your mind, uh, open up your life to the Lordship of Jesus and allow the Spirit of God to speak to you. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for all of your goodness that's been lavished on us in this season. We take the time to say thank you and also recognize that there's even more, more love, more power. There's more that your spirit wants to speak to us. There's more, a conversation that you wanna have. Would you please open us to rest in you, to learn from you, to listen to you, to reflect, to take this time and make it holy, make it different, fill it with your presence, make it sacred. We pray it in Jesus' name, amen. Hello there, my name is Betty Dickinson. I'm the artist in residence for Danielle Strickland's Team Boundless and also the artist who created the painting we will be meditating on today 
called Making Room for Justice. Each of the paintings in this series were created with liquid acrylic and oil and clay board, and I have the honor of leading you through a reflection on this painting in an exercise we will do called Visio Divina, or Divine Seeing. It's a way of reflecting on a piece of art as a way of prayer. So let's begin by taking a few deep breaths as you um, pull up the painting in front of you, either on your phone or computer. Take a few deep breaths in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Continue to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let your eyes move through the painting. What catches your eye? Focus on that portion of the work and sit with it for a minute. What thoughts or feelings does this painting evoke? Become aware of God's loving presence towards you right now. Is there something he wants you to see or hear? This painting is a representation of Mary's song from Luke 1, often called the Magnificat from the Latin magnificare, which means to make great. As I read this song over you from the message version of Luke 1, 51 through 56, let it wash over you as you continue to meditate on the painting. I'm bursting with God news. I'm dancing the song of my savior. God took one look at me and look what happened. I'm the most fortunate woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. The God whose name is holy, set apart from all others. His mercy flows in wave after wave on those who are in awe before him. He barred his arm and showed his strength, scattering the bluffing braggarts. He knocked tyrants off their high horses, pulled victims out of the mud. The starving poor sat down to a banquet. The callous rich were left out in the cold. He embraced his chosen child, Israel. He remembered and piled on the mercies, piled them high. It's exactly what he promised, beginning with Abraham and right up to now. This radical song exposes the truth about what often stands in the way of receiving God's kingdom, pride, power, and greed. Wherever God reigns, his justice levels the impact of these forces for the ultimate good of all people. And in the Magnificat, Mary reveals a picture of what happens when God's kingdom comes to earth. I want you to think about an area in your community where you are longing for God's kingdom to come. As you think about this people group in mind or this area of your community, let us close with a breath prayer as a way of intercession. So as you breathe in, I want you to inhale the words, your kingdom come. And as you exhale, exhale, your will be done. So go ahead and inhale, your kingdom come. And exhale, your will be done. Go ahead, inhale, your kingdom come. And exhale, your will be done. Amen. This painting and reflection is an excerpt from my new book that will be released in the fall of 2022 called Making Room in Advent, 25 Devotions for a Season of Wonder with InterVarsity Press. So if this experience was meaningful for you, be on the lookout for when this book comes out so you can encounter Jesus through the Gospel of Luke in these paintings. Thanks for joining me, friends, and have a great day.